In this video, we will see how to set up the Telet Centurion SC250B4 Smart Module Kit. In this tutorial, we'll cover various aspects, including Unboxing and setup Initialization and normal operation Firmware upgrading The full kit is composed essentially from three boards the TLB1 board that mounts, the SC250B4 module and RF connectors on its proper box. The TLB2 board, that mounts, touchscreen and cameras, on its proper box. The main EVB board, that mounts, connectors, battery and power circuitry, speaker, vibrator, audio jack, press buttons, sensors, digital mics, on its proper box. The TLB2 box includes the following components, the TLB2 board, the power adapter, the Wi-Fi antenna, two cellular antennas, the GPS antennas, the screws. The main EVB box contains, the main EVB board, the USB cable, and spacers and the screws. To assemble the kit, plug the TLB1 board over the main EVB, plug the TLB2 board on the main EVB and fix with screws, screws the antennas, plug the nano SIM of one of the two available slots. Before to power up the unit, make sure that the jumpers are placed out as shown on the picture. The system can work, in battery mode or in non-battery mode. For battery mode, you simply need to connect the unit to any external USB 10 watt power supply adapter. The system will power up automatically. The PMIC inside the module will charge the battery. During this phase, the red LED will blink. A status bar on the touchscreen will show the charging level. After a complete cycle of charging, you can disconnect the cable and use as a regular smartphone. In non-battery mode, you simply need to use the DC 5V jack, and the provided adapter to power up the unit. In this case the PMIC will not load the battery, because the whole circuitry will be bypassed. For firmware upgrading, you need to go into www.teledownloadzone.com. Under SC250B4, you need to download SC250B4 USB driver, and the firmware version that is suitable for your SKU. Decompress the zip folder and click on Setup Application inside, this will install the drivers for QCM platform in your PC. Click on Next until the process will be completed. Upgrading the firmware, is very easy on this module. Starting from the normal operation, you just need to connect the board through USB cable to your PC. Then, double-click on the DFI, and the application will upload automatically the device. After firmware upgrading will be completed, the module will automatically restart, and you will ready to go. Thank you for watching. For further assistance, please refer to the following support documents.